Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to submit the online application form for the joint CSR UGC NET examination, June 2022. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the video. So this is the window for the joint CSR UGC NET June 2022 exam. The link is attached in the description. Once you click on the link, it will take you to this dashboard. So once this interface pop out on your screen, you need to scroll down and then you need to click on the registration for Join CSR UGC Net June 2022. You need to click OK. And then here, this window will pop out on your screen. So students who are going to apply for the Join CSR UGC Net exam 2022, you need to click on the new registration. Once you click out there, this page will pop out. And as you can see on this page that First, we'll proceed with the registration and then once your registration will get completed, then we'll proceed with the application form and later, we'll proceed with the fee payment. So in order to start the registration, kindly make sure that you have gone through all the instructions given in this page and then you need to scroll down. After that, here you need to check the box. After that, you need to click on the proceed. So once you click on this proceed tape, it will take you to this page. So here you need to enter your personal details. In your personal details, your name, your father's name, mother's name, date of birth, gender. So for the identity type, we have different options provided here. In case for the Aadhaar card, you need to click on any other valid government identity card with photograph and then you need to enter your Aadhaar card number here. So this is just an information for the students who want to enter your Aadhaar card number. Here you need to enter your present address and based on your present address, if your permanent address are same then you can check this box same as present address otherwise you can also fill up the information here in the permanent address regarding the password you can enter the password that contain 8 to 13 character long and it must have at least one upper caste alphabet and one lower caste alphabet and should also have a numeric value and special characters so based on this you can enter your password next we have the security question so these are the questions that we can see so based on your convenience you can select any of this question and then you need to respond it with that answer so if i select what is your favorite book then you need to enter your favorite book name that will be your security answer in case if you have forgotten your password or application number through this security answer you will able to retrace your information so after entering your password you need to enter your security pin so here you need to enter this captcha and then you need to click on submit so once your registration process completed this window will pop out on your screen here you need to enter your application number and password along with the security pin which you can see on the screen and then you need to click on sign in before you proceed with the application form one important point that i would like to highlight that is this time there is a certain change in the registration process that is once you click on this submit button then this page will display it on your screen and here it will be clearly mentioned that please review the following information carefully if you would like to change any informations entered you may do so by pressing enter registration form button or press submit and send otp button so once you are sure that the information that you have provided in this registration form then you can click on submit and send otp by checking all these boxes and also make sure that your name date of birth father's name gender mobile number and email address cannot be changed whenever you are entering these informations you have entered correctly so once you are done with this you can click on the submit and send otp after that this page will shown on the screen here you need to click on yes and then you will receive an otp on your registered mobile number so you need to enter this otp and then you need to click on submit registration form only then your registration process will be completed so once your registration process will be completed this notification message will come on your registered mobile number where you can get your application number for this particular csr ugc net june 2022 exam so once you have entered your application number password and security pin you need to click on sign in this dialog box will pop out on the screen here you can see that your registration form is completed your application form and the fee payment is yet to be completed so since you have seen your application number you need to click on complete application form after clicking on complete application form this page will be shown on your screen 
so this time they have made a slight change regarding the application form steps so in case you have completed only your context steps and then you are facing a network issue still then you can proceed the other steps in the later days so this is a very good initiative taken by the csr UGC net regarding the application form fill up so here you need to proceed with your contact details personal details other details exam and center details qualification details additional details document upload and then your final submission so this is the contact detail that you have already entered in your previous registration process here you need to enter your security pin and then you need to click on save and next so once you click on save and next this confirmation text will come out on your screen then you need to press on yes so after clicking on yes it will take you to the personal details here you need to enter your personal details after entering your personal details regarding the category you can select the category for your convenience i'll be selecting to any category so i'll be selecting obc ncl central list uh, based on your category you need to also make sure that you have your category certificate so that you'll be uploading your category certificate in the document uploading section so if you belong to pwd candidate you need to select yes and then you need to enter the type of disability as well as other related informations so if you do not belong to pwd candidate you can press on no here you need to enter your family income so based on your family income kindly select the annual income of your family so after that you need to enter your security pin and then you need to click on save and next so once you click on save and next it will take you to other details here you need to press yes and then after clicking on yes this page will be showing on your screen so here uh, like there are some new regulations that has been come out for the uh, Adhar. so in this case you can click on i'm not willing to share my other number so once you click on this then you need to click on the confirm and then you need to enter your security pin which you can see and then you need to click on submit and next after completing your other details next is your exam and center details out here we have two options for the joint csr ugc net june 2022 exam that is we can either apply for jrf or we can apply for the lectureship or assistant professor so students i have already uh, uploaded a video regarding the eligibility criteria if you are a bachelor student or if you are on your final semester of your master's degree or you have just completed your uh, master's degree and you have not received your mark sheet then you need to select applied for jrf you cannot select for applied for lectureship or assistant professor so kindly make sure that you have gone through the eligibility criteria before you proceed with this application form one good thing about selecting the jrf is just for the students who have already completed their master's degree or equivalent degree they can select for jrf in case if they don't get selected for jrf still then they are eligible to apply for lectureship or assistant professor so do not forget to select jrf if you have already completed your master's degree or equivalent degree here you can select the subject for the net exam so if you belong to any of the subjects then you click on chemical sciences or subjects that you can see on the screen so i'll be selecting chemical sciences here if you have any specialization you can select on the specialization if you do not have any specialization then you can select on others and then you can enter the subject where you have completed your masters and then here i'll be selecting organic chemistry so the medium of paper i have selected is english so if you are convenient with hindi then you can also select hindi next will be the choice of exam city so we have different cities so based on your choices you can select the state where you want to appear your exam and then you can select the city so based on the options that i have found i have selected these options for my exam city after entering all your details you can click on save and next okay in this part the first one will be the graduate qualification details here you need to select pass and then you need to enter the uh, year on which you have qualified your graduation degree and then you need to enter the course or stream where you have completed your graduation degree so we have more options here you can see on the drop down menu and then if you don't find any of these options then you can click on others and then you can enter your course or stream name and then you can select the examination whether you have completed from india or outside and then you can enter your university or institute name so for me i'll be selecting bsc honors and then i'll be selecting india and then i'll be selecting the institute so i've selected nagaland university and then 
the resulted mod since my grading system was on cgpa so i'll be selecting cgpa and then then i have selected the grade point based on your grading point you can select the grade point and then you can enter your obtain cgpa and then you'll get the final cgpa of your graduation degree and then here you need to enter your date of admission here the institute address and then the pin code where your institution is located please make sure that you have entered the correct details of the pin code where your institute is located Located. that is on which district that your institution is located for the post graduation qualification details we have two options that is passed or result awaited so the students who have already qualified the master's degree and uh, they, they can select passed and then they can select the other information as I have already mentioned and if you have not completed your master's degree or you are in your third semester or you have just completed your master's degree but you haven't received your mark sheet then you need to select result awaited for clear understanding I have selected result awaited and then you you need to enter your course name and based on your course name you cannot select the result mode since you have selected result evident in case if you have selected pass then you can select the result mode based on the percentage or cgpa so for your clarity i have selected result evident and then you can enter your security pin so next will be your additional details here if you have completed your doctor degree then you can click on yes and then you need to enter your informations if not you can select as no if you have any specialization then you can enter your specialization if you don't have any specialization then you can keep it as blank next is your minority if you belong to minority community then you can click on yes and then you need to select the minority and then you can proceed with other informations here you need to enter your family income so based on the in family income you can select yes and then you can enter your security pin so after you are done with this now we have come to the document uploading section here i want to make you clear that regarding your document uploads these two uh, documents that is your photograph and signature will be present for all the categories the other part that is the category certificate the pwd certificate and result awaited certificate so if you belong to any of this category then you need to upload your category certificate pwd certificate or result awaited certificate based on the extensions that they have provided so kindly go through the extensions so once the documents are ready you need to upload your documents here so out here i have uploaded my signature so once you have uploaded your signature you need to click on update and then here it has clearly mentioned that your document is already uploaded so once it's shown out here then you need to upload all your documents and then you need to click on save and next so after clicking on that this confirmation page will come out here it will be showing please review the following informations before final submit if you would like to change any information please use the links provided on the left menu bar so this is the review page of my online application form if you want to change anything you can click on the steps that can be seen on the left link and then you can do changes on the informations that you have provided in this particular steps after clicking on i agree you need to click on final submit of application and then i will click yes after completing your application form uh, you can see the current status that you have completed your registration form application form and you are yet to complete your payment details so since i have not uploaded my ra certificate or category certificate or pw certificate so for the convenience i have selected general for the category certificate so based on the category certificate that you have selected you will be paying the application fee and it will be displayed on your screen so if you want to do any edit in your application form you can click on this tab otherwise you can click on pay examination fee so here you need to click on online payment and then you need to click on proceed for payment out here you need to click on icici bank payment gateway and then you need to proceed for the payment so here we'll get different options cards net banking upi so based on your convenience you can select to any mode of payment and then you can do the payment process so this is the entire process step by step i've clearly mentioned regarding the registration application form documents upload and fee payment so if you have any queries kindly drop your comments in the comment section with this i want to end my video thank you and keep watching shisak tombo